Hey, Gun Genie. <laughs> what do you want? Don't bother me. It's leg day. Something you wouldn't know anything about, chicken legs. <laughs> well, I wanted to see if maybe I could change one of my wishes. <laughs> well, that's too bad, because once you make a wish, it's final. But humor me, chicken legs. What would your other wish have been? Well, um, that's kind of funny. I, I wanted to wish that uh, the AK-50 would be finished and working. Gun Genie? <laughs> Even me, the Gun Genie, cannot make that thing work. <laughs> it's never going to work. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range, and today we're going to have some fun with this. This is a bulletproof baseball hat. This is supposed to be level 2A, which it'll stop 22, 380, 38 special, 9 mil, 45. We're gonna put it to the test today. So this is just a regular baseball hat, but on the inside, you've got a plate in there. It has a foam piece on it that kind of looks like the Batman symbol. It's Velcroed in there, and that's what you got. This little thing right here. Now, this is supposed to stop rounds, and I think it probably will. We're gonna find out, but what kind of energy transfer is still gonna be going through this hat and into your forehead if this stops around? So we're gonna put this on a block of clay and when it stops around or if it stops around, what kind of deformation are we gonna have on that clay? I'm really curious to see what happens. Let's go get set up and get started. Before you say anything, I know that today is Full Auto Friday and this video is gonna double as Full Auto Friday, trust me. So here's our piece of clay. And I guess I'm just going to try to mold it to this hat here. Uh, this needs to be a little flatter. Yeah, there we go. Check it out. I got a thermal scope. It's made by ATN and I am pumped about it. I've already got a rifle picked out for this thing. But I wanted to ask you, do you want to see any thermal videos on this channel? If you do, let me know in the comment section down below. Sportsman's Guide has a really cool deal going on right now. If you make a purchase that's $49.99 or higher, you get a one-year membership to their Buyers Club, and that gets you special discounts and free shipping. This is going on until August 26, 2020. A lot of cool scopes and things like that on sale right now. And if you use coupon code KBALLISTICS, it'll get you $20 off any merchandise order that's $100 or more. So be sure and check that out. I figure we'll start out with the smallest thing that's had us rated for first, which is 22 long rifle, and we'll be using a Ruger LCR 22. This is the most inaccurate little gun I have, and I'm gonna be really surprised if I hit anything with it. Where did I hit? I don't even... Uh, <laughs> didn't, uh, didn't hit the bulletproof part. I hit the bill. The bill's not uh, bulletproof. So, I put an extra round in my pocket because I figured this would happen. Okay, I think we had a good hit. Okay, so there was the first shot and here is our second shot. Let's take a look. Oh, look at that. Had some energy transfer into that clay. Got a little bulge right there. And, uh, oh, well, that's where we hit the bill, so the bill is definitely not bulletproof. Um, yeah, no. Hey, there's the round. Didn't make it very far after it went through that clay. Okay, so there's where we hit right there. Stopped the round. But we have some deformation on our clay. You definitely would have felt that. Let's go ahead and jump up to 9mm. I've got a Canik TP9 SFX and I've got some PMC Bronze 115 grain full metal jackets. Woo! I'm really curious to see if it stopped that. Okay, we hit right there. Oh my gosh! <laughs> You definitely would have felt that. Oh man. Okay, so it stopped it. But whoo, would you have a headache? So we hit right there. 
and this thing ate that round it stopped it not gonna lie i'm pretty excited to show you the gun i've got for 45. this is my new smith and wesson 1911 ta and man is she beautiful 45 acp 230 grain full metal jackets let's put one right in the middle That was a perfect shot. Okay, we put our shot literally right in the middle of the hat. Let's see what our results are. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh man. Well, uh, it stopped the round. There's some of your Batman symbol padding. You would have had a really bad headache. Most likely knocked unconscious. There's where we hit, and it stopped it. So now it's time for the part of the video that I've been most excited for, the full auto portion. YouTube employee reviewing my video. Everything's okay, this is all 100% legal. Just check the description down below. Our hat has stopped everything it's rated for, and that's great. But what if your threat didn't have just a pistol with one round in it? What if it was a full auto nine mil rifle? How's your hat gonna hold up? I forgot to put it on full auto. I'm so sorry. I don't think the hat's okay. I, I wouldn't wanna be wearing it right now. So the clay's pretty chewed up. Also ended up uh, shooting the cinder block I had behind it. I was hoping to keep the hat in one spot. Okay, so we took several rounds to the front here before the hat flew off. Uh, yeah, and here's our little shield. Look at that. That's probably where it got shot from behind when the hat was flipping off of this thing. I'm not really seeing any holes out the back though. I'm pretty sure whatever rounds actually hit the front of this thing, it stopped. Well, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. The hat held up pretty well against the pistol calibers it's rated for, but man, would you have had a headache. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and me a favor, real close to hitting that million, hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.